Hello learners, welcome to my channel. I am Priyanka Patel and today's topic of discussion is Race Drawing. In this presentation, I am going to explain about instrumentation and working principle of race drive. Basic component of race trial instrument consists of a chamber containing cells through which a heat transfer fluid can be circulated. That chamber is also called as freeze drying chamber or cabinet. A system for pumping, heating and cooling the fluid. A vacuum pumping system. A condenser for trapping water vapor and refrigeration system for cooling the condenser. As you can see in this diagram, different components of freeze dryer that I have already explained. So this is the cells on which product can be placed. Here it consists of heating system or heating of heat transfer fluid. This consists of pump. This is condenser which can be cooled by refrigerant, vacuum pump to maintain pressure inside of the condenser. This is also diagram for freeze dryer. So ice condenser, vacuum pump attached with the ice condenser to maintain the pressure. Generally temperature in ice condenser is maintained around minus 60 to minus 80 degrees Celsius. This is pump for the circulation of fluid in condenser and cells heating system for heating of the circulating fluid. This is chamber where products are placed. Let's start with detailed explanation of components of freeze dryer design. First one is chamber. Chamber is a vacuum tight box. Sometimes it is called as lyophilization chamber, drying chamber or cabinet. It consists of cells for holding the product for processing. It also consists of stoppering system for close fitting of the door. It is typically made up of stainless steel and Usually highly polished on inside and insulated and clad on outside. The door locking arrangement by hydraulic or electric motor. Another component is cells. Self act as a heat exchanger and it remove energy from product during freezing and supply energy to the product during primary drying and secondary drying. Cells will be connected to the silicone oil system through the either fixed or flexible hoses. Cells can be manufactured in size up to 4 meters square in area. So basic function of the cell is to hold the product for processing and to transfer energy during freezing and drying. Next is process condenser. The process condenser is sometimes referred as just condenser or cold trap. It is designed to trap the solvent which is usually water during drying process. That means when sublimation takes place during primary and secondary drying, the role of condenser is to collect the vapor. The process condenser will generally consist of coil or sometimes plates which are refrigerated to a desired temperature. This refrigerated coils or plates may be placed in a vessel separate to the chamber or they could be located within the same chamber as the cells. That means a uh, process condenser can be outside of the cabinet or maybe inside of the cabinet or a drying chamber. Hence, they are designated as external condenser or internal condenser. Physically, the external condenser is traditionally placed behind the chamber, but it may be at the side below or above. The position of condenser does not affect the trapping performance. For an internal condenser, the refrigerated coils or plates are placed below the cells or smaller machine and behind the cells for larger machine. But again, there is no performance constraint, only the geometry of the chamber varies. Next is cell fluid system. The freeze drying process requires that the product is first frozen and then energy in the form of heat is applied throughout the drying phase of the cycle. This energy exchange is traditionally done by circulating a fluid through the cells at a desired temperature. The temperature is set in an external heat exchange system consists of cooling heat exchanger and electric heater. The fluid is circulated which is generally silicon oil, trichloroethylene or legsol. 
This will be pumped around the circuit at a low pressure in a sealed circuit by means of a pump. Next is refrigeration system. The product to be freeze dried is either frozen before into the dryer or frozen while it's on the shelves. Compressor or sometimes liquid nitrogen supplies the cooling energy. Most often, multiple compressors are needed and compressor may perform two duties. One to cool the cells and second to cool the process condenser. Generally, refrigerant can be switched from condenser to the heat transfer fluid during freezing of the product and back to the condenser during the drying. That means it is required both for cooling the cells during the freezing of the product and for cooling the condenser during primary and secondary drying. The condenser is generally cooled by direct expansion of refrigerant like fluorohydrocarbon in condenser coil. Next is vacuum system. To remove solvent in a reasonable time, vacuum must be applied during the drying process. If we do not apply vacuum, it will require more time for the drying of the substance. So the vacuum level required will be typically in range of 50 to 100 micro bar. To achieve such a low vacuum, a two-stage rotary vacuum pump is used. For large chamber, multiple pumps may be used. Next is control system. Control system may be entirely or usually fully automatic for production machine. It is a computerized system which will maintain each and every function of the system. The control elements required as mentioned above self temperature, pressure and a time. A control program will set up these values as required by the product or the process and time may vary from few hours to several days. These are the references and with this I conclude my video. Thank you everyone for watching my presentation. If you have any doubt, you can contact me on this ID. Once again, thank you.